Let's move on to the era of the Great British Bake Off when yeah. you were in people's living rooms every week and it, it, it gained cult status, ultimately. When the offer came about for yourself and Mel to present it, how were you feeling? Did you see the magic on the paper? Did you think, this has got legs? This I said no. <laughs> no, I literally turned it down. I mean, it's a sort of... I, 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 I thank goodness I'm not in charge of my own career. <laughs> I said, well, that's nonsense. That's never going to work. Turned it down. And then this wonderful woman called Janice, who was at the BBC at the time, said, are you sure it's not for you? <laughs> absolutely. So I turned it down twice. <laughs> and she said, well, I really love you to do it. And absolutely not, three times. And then um, eventually she said, I, I would just really like you to try it. And Mel was up for it and... Uh, it was a slightly rocky start, but it just grew into this extraordinary thing. And nobody, nobody, nobody in their right mind could have predicted where it went. We, we had pretty, a pretty gruelling time of it in the first series. It was a touring show, so the tent would get moved and we'd pitch up in different locations. <sighs> no one really watched it. It was very unfavourably reviewed. <sighs> and really, up until the third season, it was, a bit, it, was, it was a bit hit and miss, and then it moved to one, and, and then it suddenly exploded. And, and every year you'd see that the figures got exponentially. I think it started at one and a half and it ended up at 16 and a half million people. And I mean, I... Insane. I, it, I hold, it holds obviously a very powerful place in my heart. And I, I, I don't think I'll ever make a show. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'll never make a show that has that, you know, those, those numbers are, are insane. Yeah. They're insane. We were very lucky. But you infused that show with the DNA that it became known for it. That kindness, the conviviality, like everything it's synonymous with now. When it was from after seven years to hand the reins over to Matt Lucas and Noel Fielding, and now Alison Hammond is going to be yeah, there as well. It's going to be yeah, amazing. Yeah. How did that feel for you? I mean, I, won't, I think it's, I think I've said before, you know, and I, I, I'd never lie, you know, I haven't, I haven't watched it because it's too, hmm. it's too conflicting for me. You know, hmm. I know that they, they've kept a lot of the catchphrases that we had and a lot of, I'm glad the tone has, has, has survived and it's it's for those guys to make the show what it is now, you know, and it, and it, it will have a different tone and a, and a slightly different shape to it because they're inhabiting it now rather than us. Um, and genuinely, I think inevitably they're all doing a great job, but I don't want to see it because it's yeah. like, you know, it's a, it, we had a great time and then we made the decision we did and then when we left it, we really left it. You yeah. know, we really left it and I'm... But I'm also hugely glad that they've they've taken it on and it's found a new audience and and it still holds such sway with the public. You know, yeah. uh, that's important too because it's a great format. So I don't want to take that away from it. It's a great format. So yeah, it's it feels like there was a clean break and there was it was painful for a bit, but now it's good. Yeah, now we're in a good place. Good.